Today is the day. We're gonna move our five pigs out to their perspective projects on the farm. Three of them going way out there to the forest. Two of them to our 240 square foot pig farm. This guy. I'm not quite ready to move them. All our hoses haven't gotten here for getting the water line out to the forest. We have a drum. It's here now. We still lack this nipple. Hopefully today, let's check the mail to make sure that nipple didn't come yesterday. Nothing. I think we'll put that in the hog mahal and we'll run a uh, automatic waterer to them out in the forest. You know, I could keep them in this system, the compost corner system, longer. I think for the entire time, I probably wouldn't want to keep more than two in this 800-ish square feet. But these guys are getting so big. Look, oh my gosh, really? This guy? Do you see how big he is? Well, if I want to demo the carport system and the forest system, well, they kind of need to go there. <laughs> and it's gonna get harder and harder to pick these guys up. Don't you love it when they get so fat they can't even sit, stand up to eat? I see which one I wanna grab. Which one? That one. The big one? No, this one. Oh, that was the okay. tiniest one. We were able to get one per Jason, Jason from Sutherland to be able to come help us. I don't know if he's ever picked up a pig. I've got one arm. Picked You've picked up one. It's gonna be interesting. So let's let's we got some things to do. I think the carport system's pretty much ready. We just have to haul the water over there. Um, forest system. Got to get an energizer. Got to get some fencing over there. I think it'll just take two more sheep fence. Got to get the water line. Let's go. Two more coming any day. That's as much as I need to get out there. I, I'm gonna have to borrow some from another part of the farm that's not currently in use. Well, it's going to the sprinkler to this garden though. Although it looks like it might rain today. It hasn't rained in a while. But everything's established pretty good. The cover crops are growing up amongst the crops. So let's grab our Far away is this hose. For power out there, we need solar. We need the most powerful thing we've got. This is it. It's been powering the cow's fence over here, but I can easily enough hook the cow fence into the barn. The plug-in energizer, it's more powerful. Anyway, this is the most powerful solar we've got. I think that'll do it. The trick to keeping pigs in is to keeping that fence hot. So this is my best trick. Oh, you know what, Josiah? What? We're gonna need a sledgehammer, if not to get this out, to at least put it back in. So, would you mind go getting us a sledgehammer? Here, hold on, we'll see if I need it up here. We gotta get the grounding rod out, and it's been so dry. Ugh. We got our forest cleared for them, although think next time, instead of cutting before them, I was gonna give them the forage it's, it's, it's gonna be hard for him to get in there with those fallen trees. I'm thinking, let's have them come in. Hopefully they'll eat some poison ivy. Let's have them come in, clears it for us, then we'll cut it behind them. And sure, they'll miss out on that. I don't think they're gonna eat those balmagillad leaves anyway. So uh, then we'll cut in behind them. And they'll come back, and if they do eat these leaves, we'll have a coppice. They can eat the coppice leaves next go around. This sheep fence is a little, well, it is big overkill for pigs. Unfortunately, you have to electrify every single strand, so it's gonna take more power. The reason we're doing this, though, is, look, our house is there, the forest here. Protect them from the coyotes and Sasquatches, y'all. The forest project begins, maybe. Maybe, this is smoking hot. Personally, 
thing, it needs to be maxed out. Moment of truth. Oh, 6K. All right. Is this enough? Mm -mm. Yeah, let's test our source. It's running at eight over, so it's our fence. Let's go get stuff off of We found some spots, sticks. There was the old cow line Jonah was on it. That's guaranteed, that's how to do it. Come on, it's gonna do it, it's gonna do it. Yay, 8K Jonah, 8K, 8K everywhere. Wait, wait, let me try this. One cool thing about this hose, you gotta do a lot to tangle it. And it's just kinda undoing itself here. Let's go get the rest of it. Okay, it pretty much just came to a screeching halt. Wrong stuff. I remember what happened now. I ordered this stuff on accident, canceled it. Thought it was canceled it because I did the same day, but there it is. That's what? too small, it's too thin. It's not the half inch. Let's pick up our other lines, Jonah. In the boxes. Gonna have to send them back. Ooh, and I definitely don't have enough hose to get us out there today. Well, those are the three hoses that came that we're gonna send back. We actually needed five. They're coming tomorrow. But we're gonna move these pigs anyway. We're gonna move them anyway. I'm trying to think that through. <laughs> we're gonna take the tub out there, the 55 gallon drum. We're just gonna haul, that nipple water is not here unless it came in the mail. Oh, that, there it is. oh my gosh. Well, I've ordered a backup because I think that must be lost. That's not going to be here until tomorrow either. Um, we'll take the tub of water out there. And I guess we'll just put water in the pig port. Just in, in troughs. Just to get us through till tomorrow. Let's dig the old pig shelter out. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought the cable was missing. It's there. Got to get the tractor out. Got to get the mower out just to get this shed out. Just clear a spot for it right there. I think they're gonna be happy up under that pine tree. Probably we're gonna spend their time, but we're just gonna give them this just in case. You pulling that through, I'll guide you. All right, fellas. Take one of those pans and let's lure the pigs into the stall. I think they're always hungry for skim. Like that was easy. I just don't know if I could lead them across the entire farm. We got our barrel out here next to our water source. Can we get a hose? Gonna fill it up. Got to get over the nipple water and then a little bit more. Enough for a day, which would be about right there. And hopefully we can shimmy that off at the end. And it is here. They're gonna fill that water up. We're gonna check and see if, I don't think the dog crate's gonna fit in that. What do you think, J Jason? I don't know, I haven't seen the dog crate. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed pretty wide to me. It's looking pretty thin right here. I don't know, maybe. 28. Okay, so you got 30 inches there. Let's try it. Did you guys get it filled up? No, it's still going up. Oh, we just got over the nipple, guys. Maybe a few more minutes. That's gonna be heavy. How heavy is that gonna be, Anna? You calculated uh, it. Close to 250. 30 gallons. Yep. Gah. There you go. That's it. Let's do it. I'm thinking the adults spot spot me as I drive through this, just hanging onto the barrel, just so we don't knock the barrel over. this because we don't need this open. Uh, make sure the door is this way, yeah? Moment of truth. It's definitely going to have to go over that. Oh my word. Oh, that's the perfect setup, Jonah. Trailer. Perfect trailer, buddy. Try not to grab him by the hoofs, just above the hoofs and lift him up. Should that... we grab above the knee right here? No, no, we were grabbing on the shin. 
Okay. Right here. Lifting them up, and then Anna will grab one side. Come on, Anna. Okay, let's shoot these guys out. There he is. Just commit. There you go. Grab the other leg. Good job. Good job. <laughs> so big we just lifted him what a month ago, not even. It's okay. Three weeks? Gideon, yeah, just one here, person. Gideon. Come over here. I know. There's like three, four people. Wait, no. Pig number two, was that not a lot easier? Can we let that down? Yeah. Anna? Well he's looking at it, man, he's a lot smaller. Okay. There they are, three, three pigs. I think they'll be happier together. That's just a short ride to the forest. You guys, your life just got so much better. There you go. Thankfully, they're trained to the electric fence. I don't think he's gonna try it, it's not on. Look, he's coming out on his own. Shady, oh look. Is he gonna eat the bomb of Gilead? Please eat the bomb of Gilead. <laughs> I think he's just seeking shelter. Good. I wanna see you eat something. Oh, look. <laughs> he says, I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> it's where I'm supposed to be. See y'all later. That's a good sign, Jason. Not too stressed to eat. Oh no, this is where my mic went out. It's totally plugging Jason. He did a whole movie about this same day. So you want to see it from his perspective, do check out his channel. I'll leave links all up in this. Uh, go check it out. It's called Sow the Land. Great, great stuff.